Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's get started with uh, React Redux. We in the first video we just talked about what is Redux all about. Now we will see the basic introduction about Redux, how it works. Okay, so Redux is an independent library which can be plugged with any of the framework, either Angular, either Vue.js, or either React. Okay, so first we will try to understand what Redux is. Redux is application state management. Now this application can be your simple front-end front -end written in React, Angular, Vue.js or vanilla JavaScript. There should be just an intermediate bridge library need to be there which can actually help you to talk between React and Redux, Angular and Redux, Vue.js and Redux. Okay, that we need. Otherwise, Redux can be worked independently with any library okay and what is redux redux is uh, application state management a it is managing the state of your application this is a new term but now in react we already aware about what is the state of a component now if you combine the state of all the component you have in your application you can actually create a json tree out of it right that json tree is nothing but client side state of your components and when you start composing and centralizing that state that became one whole big json object okay so i mean there are many candidates for same kind of library like flux we have uh, we have mbox flexible reflux i remember okay material flux macfly these are all actually uh, libraries which are doing providing the state management capability at the client side but i mean redux is a winner pure winner or redux is pure winner in that okay and it is created by dan okay that is the most popular guy right now in the react community okay now we will talk about first theoretical aspects what redux is how redux works so don't look at this architecture but from this diagram, I will try to explain what all different terms we are going to talk when we are talking about Redux. Okay, Redux has something called as a store, reducers, actions. These three terms you will hear every time when we talk about Redux. Redux has actions, reducers and store. Rest is all about your React component. Okay, Redux is combined with three things, actions, reducers and store. When you collectively understand these three things, means you know Redux. And then we will, if you know Redux as an independent library with these three building blocks, then you will think about, okay, how can I integrate Redux with any React component, okay? So theoretically, first we will try to understand what Redux is. So first of all, we know that Redux is as a library being used for managing the state of your client side of your client side application maybe react angular view okay it has three different things redux has three different things store actions and reducers now initial videos i will be covering little theoretical aspects if you understand some theoretical definitions like immutability store actions reducers pure functions read only state single json object tree single state tree then you will understand the whole thing. Redux is not complex at all. It's just all about how we interpret it. You can think Redux is like a simple JavaScript object sitting outside your React application. Okay. What this is doing is this is helping you to get the current state or you can make, you can trigger some action to update the state. And whatever the state you are actually giving, new state which Redux is creating that new state will be available to your whole React application. Okay. Redux is a big store object. It can have as small information like counter zero. Okay. This information is sitting outside your React component. From your React component, there is a button you are doing add number and your new state become zero to one, one to two and that new state now become available to all the react components okay coming back to our discussion react has three different principles first of all single source of truth okay we talked about javascript object 
client side state is nothing but a simple javascript object okay so single source of truth means the redux store maintains this single source of truth which is a javascript object okay now second principle is the state tree so this is javascript is a json object and it will be in the tree structure key value pairs right so that state is read only you can't write or modify the app state directly you will always be creating a new state from the existing state like array function map dot array, array dot map when you do it it always returns a new array without modifying the existing array array dot map array dot filter object dot assign spread operator all these things spread operator actually do the shallow copy of a top level first level uh, object properties but we can use it here also so these all are immutable functions they are not modifying the existing array or existing object they are giving you the new or array or new object similarly the redux state is read only so whenever you are making any action you will not be modifying the existing state because state is read only first thing is state is maintained as a single state tree a thing but a plain javascript object second thing is state is read only means you will not be writing or updating the state just by using these uh, simple method like you modify the array by doing a dot push or dot something if you do a dot push and returning the same array means you are modifying the existing array right so you will not be doing that and the applications like the, to modify the state you need to dispatch an action so we talked about three things actions reducers and store so first thing is store store is nothing but a big javascript object then state of a tree i mean state tree is immutable means it is read only state and we will be using reducer functions to give you the new state based on the action and the third thing is these actions actions will be just nothing but a type this javascript object which will say add to do increment decrement delete to do update user delete user based on that you will be giving a new state object from the store okay now three things should be clear actions are nothing but those things those actions are nothing but a trigger which will give you the new state object based on the action type add to do update to do add to do means get the current state add a new to do into it and return the new state without modifying the existing one right so we have three things actions reducers and store right so these are the action creators now if we combine all these things then this is your redux the topmost layer which has a reducers and store rest is your view so if we go to the first diagram again this is your view is your react component apart from that these are the actions you will trigger action add to do these are reducers are nothing but a javascript functions they will they take two argument current state and action current state and action based on the action it will return the new state object to the store and that store from that store our react components will get the data okay so there are three principles the whole there is a uh, store is maintaining the single source of truth single state object plain javascript object state is read only you will not be writing it you will not be updating it always will be returning a new state object using reducer functions third is the actions actions you will be triggering from the external client like ui and those actions will help you to send action to the reducers and reducers will check based on the type like add to do update to do will return the new state object okay so here we are talking about reducer functions so reducers are doing nothing but it is taking current state and the action based on the action it will return the new state object and this new state will be available in the store again your components whoever is looking looking for that store will get the new data okay uh let's first talk theoretically try to understand these things then we will come to the practical okay thanks everyone so we covered three different principles state is read only redux store is managing a single source of truth means single json object and the the updates i mean we are returning the new state 
and that is happening through the reducers which are pure functions so these are the three different principles of redux okay that's it let's connect in the thing next video